Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and welcome to this matte skin, matte bold lip, bold wing liner makeup tutorial. Uh, I got a little help from my Snapchat fam on what to do for my lips. You guys said maroon, so I've got my pineapple shirt on today for summer. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this tutorial before I continue to say awkward things. If you want to see how to get the look, then stay tuned right now. So first thing, I'm going to address the skin. I'm going to be using my Glean by Melanie Mel Body Radiance in Rose Gold, which is pretty well always my step one. This is very hydrating. It's got like green tea and jojoba oil, and it just feels really great. So I like it as a moisturizer. Next, I'm going to take my Pro Longwear Foundation in the color NW43. I got this premium sponge by Morphe that I wanted to try because it's a very interesting shape. I've never seen one like this, but it looks like an abstract snowman. I'm going to just put some dots on and then blend it. Oops, put that right in my hair. Usually I just use my fingers if you're new to my channel, but uh, I'm gonna be very fancy today. I personally like my fingers better just because it's quicker, but I'm gonna try something new today. There's some foundations that I find you do need a sponge or a brush, but the Pro Longwear, which is what I usually wear, I find it's really fine with my fingers. Whenever you're applying foundation, you always want to start where you want the most product. So for me, it's right in the center of my face. And for most people, that's usually where the kind of imperfections are. And you can blend it outwards to the outer parts of your face. Honestly, I think I'm not getting my whole life. I'm gonna do what feels best and go in with my fingers. There we go. Just the fingers kind of girl. Next, I'm gonna take my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And I've been really liking this just for how dewy it is. Dewy? But it says it's waterproof, but it is more of a creamy concealer. But I've been really liking it as kind of like a highlight and to conceal over areas that are a little drier, like the rash I kind of have on my face. It just lays down a lot smoother than going in with my normal concealer, which is my Studio Finish by MAC. Now for this one, I feel like it takes a lot less time and blends a little bit better if you do use a sponge, and that's why I've kind of been experimenting with sponges a little bit more lately, trying to find something that works well with this concealer that I love and I find I get the most success with a damp sponge. So sometimes certain formulas kind of need a sponge or a different applicator and some things are really great with your fingers. The color rubbed off on my Tarte concealer so I can't really tell you what shade I'm using but it's definitely nowhere near what you would expect me to be wearing. I usually wear like light medium shades with a peach undertone so I have a tiny bit of the concealer on my hand still so I'm going to use that to sculpt out my brows and I've got this MAC 195 brush to do that. Usually I don't do my eyebrows first, but I just thought I'd skip to that step today But I wanted to do this before I do my contour or bronzer Because it'll kind of soften the edges of this really crisp line that I'm making right now With my Profusion Bronze in 30M by Makeup Forever I'm gonna do a little nose snatching And I'm starting underneath the brow Oh, <sighs> I don't know if you can see that, but I accidentally stabbed the powder with my metal part of the brush. But anyways, this is the Smith 122 brush. I'm just gonna blend in a little area and I'm pushing right up against the bridge of my nose, following the line to the tip. You don't want to follow your nostrils because you'll get a weird triangular shape. There you go, you can already see the definition on that one side. I like to start building up color right underneath here and pulling it down, building up right underneath the brow and pulling it down to the tip. Let's bronze. So I'm the same color as my body. I'm gonna use the Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Tap off the excess, and this is my Morphe M401 brush. And I'm going to do a very light layer first because I know I have some uneven skin on my face. So if it wants to be blotchy, it'll absorb, and I'll move over to the other side. I'm gonna come back to that other side. Then it'll give me a nice even texture to work with rather than just going in Hold on, it'll stick to those blotchy areas. I can start to contour. And you don't want to push too hard because it'll take off the foundation. So I'm just being light-handed so I don't mess up my foundation and all the concealing I just worked really hard on. And make sure I bronze my neck and the forehead. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Can't get these down hairs off of me. Sometimes when you just wash your brush, they freaking shed. So uh, I'm just gonna let them hang out there because <sighs> whatever. So I'm gonna get into my Morphe 35F palette. 
Hello. And I'm gonna go into this uh, shade right here. And I'm gonna use that as my contour slash transition shade. I'm going half on my eyelid today and half in my crease because I don't wanna take this up too high. Usually I blow it all the way out really far. You've given yourself a nice transition to work with. So you can put black on and it'll blend because it'll blend into this medium shade, absorbing any of the excess oils on the skin. Next, I'm gonna take my Morphe M210 brush and get into this bronzy shade right here. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And I'm using the small brush just to keep it nice and tight on my lid, blending it all the way around. And I'm gonna go in with this olive color here, and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Same thing, dragging it about three quarters of the way in, not putting a ton of product. Next, I'm gonna take my Tarte Clay Paint Liner and a MAC 210 brush. Holy sh**. Don't squeeze too hard. I'm gonna do a total dramatic wing liner. I'm gonna start with the wing, just go for it. If you're somebody who is afraid of getting it crooked, you can do your wings first to make sure that they're even. And it doesn't have to be perfect just yet because we're gonna smooth it out after, but I'm just going to connect the line to my lid. And because I already know this is going to be quite bold, I'm not worrying about it being too clean at this point because I'm gonna have to go back in and clean it up. So I'm just going over to make sure that it is nice and opaque and as thick as I want it to be. And then I can just go through and clean it up. And I think what I want to do is make this line a little bit longer. To be honest, I didn't mean to make it that much longer, but that's what we're doing. Okay, now that we look like kitty cats, I can put on some mascara. And this one I've been really liking lately. I've been using it for the past few days. It's the Fully Charged Mascara from Pure Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth. So for my lashes, I'm gonna use the Scarlet Lashes from Huda Beauty. And I chose them because they kind of wing out and they lay flat towards the center, kind of spring up at the end so you can really see the winged liner. And I'm just dropping them down as close as I can to my lash line. And then just wiggling them in place, making sure that they are sucker. So I took to my Snapchat family um, to ask what color I should do for my lips with this bold wing liner. So I'm going to do a maroon lip. I took off my lips and tried a few colors on. Whenever I put my foundation back on, it leaves me like this like mustache, so sorry about that. Anyways, let's uh, do the lip. I'm gonna start at the cupid's bow. I'm just trying to do no fuss, keep it in the lines. Uh, this is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the color Ellery. And once you do the cupid's bow, you can just connect the edges. Then do the same on the uh, bottom part. So I'm gonna start in the center. My lip really curls at the bottom so I can never see what I'm doing, but that's fine because it curls underneath anyways. And then once you've got the bottom, you can just connect the edges again. Now because the pencil is a little different than the lipstick I'm wearing, I'm gonna fill in the lips a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my Lipland Lip Crayon in Viking. It's very matte. And I'm gonna go over everything. I mean, it's kind of more of like a brown color, to be honest with you. It's like a chocolate, cherry kind of color. And whenever I try and make my lips look nice, I get this like brown fuzzy line. I'm gonna take that same brush that we used to do the eyebrows with and a little bit of my foundation. And I'm just going to carve out the lips and hopefully get rid of that mustache I was telling you about. So I also asked you on Snapchat if I should highlight or not, and you guys said, no, keep it matte. Right, so I'm gonna highlight using some powder. So I've got my Hot Makeup Touch Me Up powder. I'm gonna go right underneath my eyes. This is a powder that I really like for my dry skin. Right down the center of my nose, center of my chin, underneath this eye. 
and we'll do the center of my forehead. Alrighty, so there you go. You have a summer matte skin with winged bold liner and bold matte dark lips. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and shout out to the Snapchat fam for helping me decide what to do. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow and love yourself and stay pretty and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.